Hey, I just want to do a quick little video blog to let you guys know some of the interesting stuff I've been seeing in the community thus far with the uh, USB Rubber Ducky project. Already phenomenal success. I, I couldn't imagine that this much uh, would be, you know, coming from the community. And uh, already one of the things that, like, a lot of people, especially when we were at DerbyCon talking to people, everybody was like, this is so fantastic. Now I just want to slip it inside of a case that makes it look like an innocuous little thumb drive so that, you know, you could own up some computers. Obviously, the USB rubber ducky is mainly for automating boring systems administration tasks and not for any sort of evil. But if that is your bag, uh, this interesting post over here from uh, Scout32 on the forums points out that this particular thumb drive, in fact, I got it over here. This is the USB swing drive uh, over at Disc Makers, and um, it's pretty inexpensive. I mean, anywhere from $6.50 a unit to like under $5 a unit. And that's why I see a ton of these with all of the trade shows we go to. I mean, here's one from Fulton, Vuzix, Triton, you know. So I've got an array of USB drives here, some evil, some not. And um, what I wanted to point out was this particular drive. I love this drive uh, just because, you know, it's very convenient. I love the way that it, like, slips around like that and whatnot. Well, let's take a look at, uh, at the way it's put together. So we've got this kind of, you know, little metal piece. And then there's a hole back here, and if you just put a little screwdriver in there, and oh, hey, look at that. It just, I mean, it, it, it doesn't take anything, and here we go. In fact, this one, interesting about this, uh, so here's just the, the USB drive. It's like a one gig stick or something. Um, there's a little piece of, what is that, uh, hot glue? All right, so let's take apart the other one, the Fulton. And I mean, it's, it's really simple to get these guys apart. I mean... I'm using the screwdriver, but if, if you're good and you've got some thumbnails, you know, that'll do it. And this one does not have any hot glue. So, you know, I think what it is is this is generic case and then, you know, depending on the size of the drive and all that fun stuff. So, anyway, what's interesting about this particular one is with the, um, with a little bit of hot glue back there, it's the perfect size now for me to take the ducky and just go ahead and slide that guy right in there and then find the top of him. And this goes on here just like that. And then I just stick the uh, the top on it. Uh, Triton. And this is so great because I've been to so many trade shows where these are being handed out. Like you would not believe how many trade shows, you know, this particular thumb drive is out, handed out at. And I can just imagine like going up to one of those, you know, corporate droid people and being all like, Oh, hey, yeah, we're going to buy 100,000 of your widget X. Let me uh, let me give you my presentation, yada, yada, yada. Or here, let me give you my thumb drive with my information so when you go back to your corporate internet, you just go ahead and plug that, that bad boy in there. <laughs> I just love how what, sometimes it's just that simple. Um, so, you know, we played around with a bunch of different, like, case options. Like, this is the Ubertooth, actually, and this is kind of like a generic case that you can get from uh, DigiKey. Um, it's kind of bulky. It's all right. Uh, this this is actually a wooden one. It's kind of a prototype of something that we've been playing with with the laser cutter. I'm probably going to come back to this project and put something a little nicer together as far as the wooden one, with maybe a leather strap and some engraving and make it all western or whatever. But um, but as far as the, the innocuous, I don't think you can get any better than this. And the thing is, you probably already have one of these laying around. Uh, we are looking into uh, actually getting some so, I don't know, just uh, head over to usbrubberducky.com. That's where you will continue to find all the latest of this project. All right, see you guys on the forums.